Okay, Lewis alluded to this thing of if members of Congress weren't getting paid during the government shutdown, this would all be different. I think he's probably right. Now, remember, at least in the Senate, most senators are rich enough that they don't need their hundred and seventy four thousand dollar a year salaries and their very, very good insurance plans. They could they could afford that. They could afford their lifestyle anyway. But putting that aside in the House of Representatives, it is actually a bit of a different situation. And I'm not a big fan of Ashley Banfield on CNN. I think that a lot of her reporting and and uh, uh, anchoring is cheesy and just leaves a lot to be desired. But she does a good job here. She actually has two Republican members of Congress, Marsha Blackburn and Dana Rohrabacher. And she says straight up, would you give up your salaries during the shutdown? Well, should that be on the table? Not surprisingly, she doesn't really get answers. And after an awkward pause, she gets attempt to pivot. Pivot is the term that the PR experts would say is what is what is attempted here. Watch this. I hear you. We're 12 hours and 38 minutes on our countdown clock, which, by the way, is ticking away uh, right underneath um, Congressman Rohrabacher's tie. 12 minutes <laughs> and 38 minutes until a lot yeah. of people aren't going to get paid and a lot of things are going to shut down. And it could cost this country two billion dollars in just muckety muckety logistics. Right. So I want to ask you, you both, we did our you job both to stop are that. Just a moment. You are both paid one hundred and seventy four thousand dollars a year. That's your salary. Would you be prepared to add some kind of a rider or an amendment onto a continuing resolution that would take you out of the essential services category and stop payment on your paychecks in order to get a continuing resolution through? Would you we're both? Be, yes or no? See. Yes or we're, we're no? To see would you both be prepared to, to stop your paycheck? We're waiting to see what they send back. And I hope that as you that wasn't the running, question the countdown clock that you're running the debt clock. I've that got wasn't two the grandsons. Question. Their share of the national debt is now no, 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 $53,000 no. each. No, no, no. I asked a really you specific know? question. I We're wanted a waiting. yes or no question. There are a lot of and government workers that are going to stop receiving gonna their do. paychecks, and there are a lot of military service members should, should, who are serving look, overseas who might stop being paid, yeah, and, me, and there are me, veterans whose benefits are being paid. Would you be prepared to take a cut and lose your paycheck as well? Let me let me answer your question. It's a yes or no question. I love this, Lewis. She really is making uh, uh, an attempt at getting answers, and we're not really getting those answers. Saying, "Well, let's see and wait what the plan is." It's a very specific question. Would you be willing to not have your salary during the government shutdown? Perfectly reasonable. Absolutely should be the case. She gets the answers I more or less would have expected. Yeah, of course. And we're dealing with two politicians that we've talked about in the past, uh, Marsha Blackburn and, and of course, the infamous Dana Rohrabacher. And uh, they just seem so happy that, that they're hurting this country with a government shutdown. They, they seem like uh, little kids that just uh, on Christmas morning, you know, it's incredible. They literally have smiles on their faces when they're being asked these questions as they as they don't answer them. And you know what? Even if they didn't have that much money from whatever it was that that got them to a point where they were able to get elected to, to Congress, they'd still have the free trips and the kickbacks and the dinners from lobbyists. They would still have all that stuff if they lose their salary. And remember, if they lose their salary for like a week, if there's a week or a two week shutdown, it's less than half of a month. They'll still pull in one hundred and fifty K for the year. They'll be OK. And, you know, the 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 pushback is often well. Our salaries are dictated by an amendment to the Bill of Rights, and we can't really mess with them. That's because that's true. Their salaries are. But whether or not they're considered essential government employees is definitely something that could be changed. I would argue, Lewis, that there's nobody less essential to the functioning of this country than a lot of the elected members of Congress. Yeah, it's hilarious that they're considered essential. Um, <laughs> What what have they really done? I mean, was this essential, this whole move? I, I really don't think so. Of course, it was essential in order to show that Obama, uh, no freedom, Kenya, Muslim, uh, uh, small business. It was essential for something. Oh, yeah. And this government shutdown, of course, will relieve all of our debt problems. <laughs> That's right.